Let's crack uh, six more packs of Theros. We are into the uh, first left column, the first 12 packs of the box. I think that's all I'm cracking for today. Um, uh, I already cracked two temples and I'm hoping uh, to crack no more. No more temples. Let's hope for that. I already uh, completed the place that went Theros. One left standard. Interesting artwork. I use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've warmed up to escape. I think I misunderstood it. I, I treated it as uh, as flashback where you exile the card. But you never do it, and especially when you're being milled. These cards are great. I completely take it back. I don't know what I was thinking. Very good card. Escape, you're my friend. Devotion in this set, it's not. It just never panned out. I don't know why they even bothered putting it in. They should have just found some other ability. Yeah. From the toolkits, which I they discontinued, I think. I think the toolkits are gone. What I thought was the best product, somebody thought it was not. I guess it wasn't making enough money, which is probably the reason why I liked it. Because it was get, getting me cards for cheap. But, uh, Yep, no more toolkit. There was no toolkit for M21. Uh, buddy of my son's, I was going to give him a toolkit for his birthday. And I ended up giving him the Theros toolkit. Nice. Second one that I pulled. Very good. Actually, I think I still have highlights that I want to have at the end of this specific video. I like it when the commons are the ones that I'm most interested in when I'm cracking packs for a set. N12, cracking ponders, never got old. <clears throat> Cans of Tarkir, even though everybody's looking for the fetch lands. Uh, Treasure Cruise was my, my favorite pull always from a Cans of Tarkir pack. I still have a few, like three or four packs left, just for kicks. Use it, very good. Of course, Seb McKenna needs to do another 3,000 magic cards. His artwork is fantastic. And now that Therese Nielsen has been shipped off to Siberia, I think it's uh, Seb McKinnon all the way. Cool. Very nice artwork. They give it red eyes. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to see this in front of you. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay. Poor Therese Nielsen in Siberia, probably making car plates somewhere. Her artwork is amazing, man. So good. I miss that. But we do have Seb back in it. Hopefully he will not uh, get in trouble and also get shipped off to Siberia. Stay off the uh, social media, Seb, for your own good. <laughs> nice card. Um, of course, when it's used against me, it was this morning when I'm... Uh, streamlining, making better uh, a Naya Warriors deck. I don't really care about my, my graveyard. Somebody comes in and exiles my graveyard. I'm like, whatever. I wasn't using it anyways. Oh, wow. That's This is great. Just in time for it to get banned. <laughs> but I really wanted to pull this card. I'm very happy about this. Uh, this was obviously going to be the pull of the box. Uh, just for historical reasons alone. This is a fantastic uh, pull, and obviously it's gonna go as a highlight. Yeah, Uro, 
you're going as a highlight. I've lost so many games to Uros. I have one, I have one in uh, Arena, and I have also um, some Ugens, both now on paper and in Arena, but I I shy away from playing decks that are that I think are unfair, and I think Uro is definitely an unfair uh, card. I've always felt that way, and so I never, I, I, sh I don't even know why I crafted two Ugens that I never play now. Uh, Instead, what I've been crafting is uh, Junk Mythics, like Nahiri, the Planeswalker, which I can only see as like a $2 Planeswalker on paper. Uh, but I, I enjoy playing Cash for Cards. I mean, it's the name of the channel definitely fits TCG Cash for Collector. That's who I am. I'm a TCG Cash for Collector, sometimes player. But sometimes I'll collect a TCG just for fun. Like, I don't play that much Yu-Gi-Oh!, and digital only, and uh, but I still have a ton of those cards because I love them. I have gotten back to playing some Pokemon online. I do that in cycles every now and, th and then I'll come in and I'll be cracking more packs of the Sword and Shield uh, uh, sets that I missed out while I was going crazy with Ravnica uh, cube building. Another one? Yes, for the highlight? Absolutely. Don't like this artwork too much for Plum. It is a little too dark. I like the the uh, Indian style, Indian is from East Asia Indian style of Icoria, of Icoria's Plummet. Very nice card, plus three, plus two. Kicks my butt all the time. Oh, it's one of the, it's a common, but it's definitely a good card. Wow! So we pl pulled an Uro the day two days before it gets banned. Supposedly, I don't know what's going to happen, but that's what the Reddit's be saying. They're out here saying Uro's going to get banned on Monday. The equipment in Zendikar 3 is so much better. Beautiful card. I love the artwork. Love this artwork. It's just there's something about it that I just find so peaceful, so beautiful. Great art, man. That's something that Magic has really, really done well. Man, the artwork is fantastic. Oh yeah, I play this card a lot. Uh, back when I was doing a green-white, a Celestia Citizen Champion. As you can tell, I'm playing Citizen Champion in every possible deck in the world that I could fit it into. That's what casuals be doing. Uh, okay, last pack. card yeah gets played a lot by the skewed sw swarm folks already mentioned this dude wow so not even 12 packs into this uh, box and I cracked the Uro very nice I like that I like that a lot I play it I have two of them I plan to have two of them in pretty much every single deck that I'll build in Standard for the foreseeable future because it's really, really useful to make... Uh, sometimes uh, uh, the, your opponent will make you this, uh, sacrifice a creature, you know, they'll tell you sacrifice one creature. It's never good to have an enchanted... Oh wow, that's very nice, I'll be talking about that dude pretty soon. Um, it's never good to just have one creature, okay? Let's just talk about this guy. Uh, Erebos. So you have Erebos and he's already uh, unenchanted. He's a creature and you enchant him. You never want to have just Erebos. You want to have a second creature, maybe like some other creature that you can sacrifice. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I have been using two of, the, of this card in pretty much every build that I do these days. And there you have it. A nice uh, a special artwork Erebos. I did not have Erebos. Uh, I have Nylea, regular and special art, or two special art, but yeah, this is a great pull. Man, this box is already kicking butt. I think this, this is the other card that I really, really wanted to pull, 
Uh, so yeah, I've already pulled the two cards that I really wanted out of the box. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, everything else is kind of uh, a freebie. I've played a Siona uh, uh, centered deck with lots of auras uh, in Arena and I had a lot of fun before before the rotation. Very nice card. I love it. Had a lot of fun with it. Okay, so that was a fantastic uh, last pack. And so my highlights uh, for the 12 packs are incredible. I mean, this is an incredible box already. Uh, matter of fact, pretty much everything that I pull in this box from now on, I have all 24 packs left, is complete and total gravy. Uh, and a few cards that I don't have, maybe a few of the junk rares that I don't have. Of course, with Theros too, there's a lot of junk rares. But that's true for every set. Every set is like that, with the exception of Ursa Saga and Tempest, of course. All right, so here are my highlights. Did really well, have done really well with this box so far. Uh, I don't think I have the bag to spend all day cracking packs. But in the next videos, I'm gonna, I, I am gonna crack some Zendikar 3. I really, really want to. But there you have it, Uro and some other goodies. And I'll cycle back to Uro just because I wanna end the video on what I think is a super broken card that, yeah, I think it has to, I think for the health of standard, it really needs to be banned. Uh, I will not be missing it when it gets banned. I think it's going to help uh, uh, make a, a richer, nicer uh, set of decks under the pyramid. The, the deck building is always a pyramid with the t tier one decks at the top of the pyramid. What happens with a card like Uro and Mark Rosewater has written a thousand articles about this is you know, eventually just everybody is on a, a playset of Uro or three Uros, which is what they kind of are these days. Uh, and that gets boring really fast. But I'm glad I pulled it. Very happy.